Listen up. These red pens indicate the trail of the hooded hood. This low life has done more damage to the image of police in this city than the time Inspector Hammer test drove a Sherman tank near the elementary school. But we're going to change this situation around, starting right now. Good. This guy's goose is as good as cooked. Not cooked, Daly. Barbecue. Let me demonstrate Mother Hammer's recipe for hood flambe. I'm talking Kentucky Fried Criminals. Extra crispy. Hammer, what about you in a straitjacket? Where'd you get that infernal thing? At the shopping and home club. I buy two more and I get a free cluster bomb. Watch this. Hammer, put it away before you broil somebody that I like. No, I'm very accurate with this thing, sir. I could burn that book right there. I'll burn that. Yeah! The hooded man man just robbed the widows and orphans, savings and loan. Major, that's impossible. That place is impregnable. Oh, relax, Captain. There's nothing to worry about. It's not our money. That's where the police pension fund is kept. What? Now that's hitting below the badge. You wait till I get my hands on that slime ball. I'll make him a widow and an orphan. Hammer, we've got to find the slime ball first. Wait a minute. Why don't we make him find us? Captain, I think I know how we can replace the pension fund and trap this meandering meatball all at the same time. We'll hold a telethon, and we'll nail him when he shows up. Hammer, have you been hit over the head recently? No, 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 no. The plan is foolproof, Captain. Telethons make millions all the time. Now all we have to do is find some dimwit who's willing to make a fool of himself on TV to be our MC. That is the most preposterous thing that I have ever heard. We will have a telethon over my dead body. Haba Nagila, Haba Nagila, Haba Nagila, pay Miss Mahat. Haba na 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 na, Haba na 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 na, Haba na 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 na, pay Miss Mahat. Guru, Guru, Arvakin, Avesamea, Arvakin, Avesamea, Arvakin, Avesamea, Arvakin, Arvakin. Thank you, thank you, Craig, for your kind applause. And now that we approach our 11th hour, Officer Daly, what is our total? $287,003. Thank you, thank you, my friends. That's great. That means in another, what, 2,000 years, we should be almost halfway home. Here's Officer Fletcher Mayjoy with one of my favorites, the mating calls of the great yellow-bellied sapsucker. Thanks, Captain. It's touching, isn't it, Duro? The way the American public is willing to give until it hurts if you just trot out any dumb old cause and a few dozen rotten acts. You really think the hooded head's gonna show up? Well, absolutely. But not till there's more money in the kitty. No, we got a long way ahead of us. I don't need a gun. I need a can opener. This cat hound's trying to slip away. Now I know why I hate disarmament. What is that? Hmm. The thing knew it was trapped, so it simply disconnected its arm. Ingenious. Look, any luck in finding a connection between the android and the scientific community? Well, according to the National Institute of Technological Innovations, or NIFTY, uh -huh. there are over 100 labs involved in android research. Unfortunately, they don't have anything that works. Now, here's a list of what I thought most probable, sir. Why don't you, uh, just see what you ah, Hammer! Leave that thing alone, it's no, evident. I, I didn't, Get I, away from it! No, I, it was, Shut up! Okay. I'll tell you what. 
you uh, give that a try. Oh, good thinking, sir. Yes, I'm going to hope the gun won't cut through a little bit. Who should I talk to? Check out the foreman. He's a friend of mine. I want you to look at a list of the scientists, too. Now, this is dating back. Starting in 19... Yeah! Hammer! I'm having trouble, sir. You're a trouble! No, Get away I, from that thing! I, I told you it's evidence! Stay but... away from it! Shut up! So this is dating from 1952. Maybe start in the 70s. I mean, they weren't really doing anything. Doro, we've got to go. We'll be back as far as we can. We give NASA a choice. You can't shut up with that. Mm -hmm. Yes, Just finding the clue we've been looking for all along, sir. Androids are us. Better check it out. Yes, I recognize this card. I was going to notify the police as soon as I heard about the robberies, but it all happened so fast. Right. Read him his rights to row while I beat him up. This is the man behind the one-man tidal wave of crime. Maybe it isn't. Uh, go on, uh, Dr. Deco. Arthur Deco. D don't call me Art. I am not a criminal. I created androids to improve the quality of life at the flick of a switch. This one performs a humanitarian purpose. Ms. Durow, would you please turn on the TV? It will allow no human being to watch designing women. Listen, test two brains. What about the metal maggot that left an arm for a calling card? A dream gone astray. I was not content to create mere domestic androids. No! I had to reach for immortality. I had to make Bork. The judge? No. Bork. B-O-R-C. That stands for Biologically Organic Robot Cyborg. The most highly advanced android in the universe. Bork was perfect except for one minor detail. He had no sense of right or wrong. Why does that sound familiar? Bork's flaw was capitalized on by my former associate, Malcolm Dench. Dench left this message the night he took Bork off to a life of crime. Hello, Art. By the time you hear this, Borky and I will have embarked on a series of robberies which will make me the richest and most powerful man in the world. <laughs> How's he going to become Bill Cosby? It's Bork. He's returned. He's come for a new arm. Don't steal, Borky. I'll give you a hand. Dench disrupted the discipline frequency. Forget it. The steel-plated sleaze is mine. Sledge. be all right nothing can keep you down oh, good then help me up so i can nail that walking trash can no no sledge you can't you're in a full body cast then give me a bazooka and a wheelchair i'll show you even shut-ins can kill no shh shh be quiet it's the only way you can heal yourself detective duro perhaps you'd like to call hammer's insurance company while there's still time to raise the coverage <gasps> I'm gonna go buy you a teddy bear in the gift shop. 
hammer. There's an alternative to your critical condition. No, forget it. Now the nurse already tried to talk me into euthanasia. I'm not buying it. It doesn't have a money-back guarantee. I have a theory that I can link android cybernetics to the central nervous system of a human being. It's never been tried, but if it works... If it works... It could give you the strength to defeat Bork. If it doesn't work... You'll die the most agonizing, horrible death known to mankind. I can live with that. Let's do it. My boy. This android crime wave goes on and on and on. There's not a damn thing I can do about it. I feel like a failure, Doro. Don't, Captain. We'll catch this creature, I'm sure of it. Well, it better be soon, Doro. You know, <laughs> maybe it's the insane quality of this whole thing, but I actually feel myself missing Hammer. Really? Yeah, I mean, if he walked through that door right now, I'd be glad to see him. What am I saying? Cherry on you? Mayjoy, all of you, get out of here. Don't you have some work to do? Hammer, why'd you do it? To defeat Bork, I have the power of 500 locomotives. Guaranteed 6.2 on the Richter scale every time. Please note, now my amigo and I are one. That was a glitch, but it was fun. Some things never change. Thank you. I also have x-ray vision. Nice Teddy Duro. Interesting lace work. You're not human anymore. You're, you're, you're a heartless, thoughtless thing without a soul. But I have AM and FM radio. Enough, Hammer. I don't want to... Walking entertainment center? I want something that's gonna stop Bork. Then please follow me, sir. What a rush. Computing, computing. Work, work, work. Um, yes. Bork has stolen $600,317,000 for Malcolm Dench. An analysis of Dench's psychological profile indicates he will use the money to build an android army, android army, android army, android army. Android army, of course. That's just what a monomaniacal nobody like Dench would do. He's going to need massive amounts of technology and illegal arms. Arms, 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 arms. Thank you. A search through the file on arms dealers with technological capabilities gives us... Oh, ah, uh, Skull Fracture. The notorious mercenary General Skull Fracture. He's in town at the Nate Palmer House for the International Convention of Megalomaniacs. I will patch into his private line and arrange a meeting. Fracture will be eager to meet with his best customer. I am also equipped with a voice simulator. Pretty neat, huh, Nancy? Fracture, Dench here. I want you to meet me at once. Now. <laughs> General Fracture. 
Where's Dench? I was hoping you'd tell me. Tell you. Been set up. Drop your gun, or there will be trouble. Who, who are you? What are you? I will ask the questions. You will answer. Otherwise, I will be forced to compress you into a tight tank. Sledge, what are you doing to him? Trust me, I am cognizant of what I am doing. I am regressing his mind to H3. Now, where is Dench? I want a cookie. Thoreau, do you have such an item? No. I want a cookie, I want a cookie. Thoreau, see if you have anything that is cookie-like in appearance. Got a compact. Adequate. <laughs> now, there is your cookie. Now, where is Dench? Coconut. More cookie. Dench and Borky in Dr. Deco's lab. He thought that'd be the last place you'd look, you meanie. Let us proceed, Dro. We have. Before I could warn him. Warn him about what? That his body might reject his robotic components. Uh, it's happening now. If his armor and electronic devices are not removed at once, he's going to die. So take everything off! Hurry! Uh, leave me alone, Jerome. Bork and Dench are still out there, and I want them. Excellent. Soon my first battalion of terror androids will be complete. And the world will be mine. <laughs> right. I love you. Not now. Dang. Work. It's time to pack up and haul Burrow. Some crazy half-android cop knows you're here. Let him come. We're ready, aren't we, Borky? I love you. I honestly love you. Not now. Now I want you in a fighting mode. Kill, 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 kill. <laughs> Hold it. You are both under arrest. You handle it. That's Dench. Whatever. Fuck. Seize him. My turn, creep. Destroy him, you coward! Destroy him! Yes, obey, Bork, obey. You lack the cognitive faculties for independence. You are nothing but a jumped-up toaster. Don't listen to him, you stupid android. Listen to me! Fork not done. Fork every motion. Fork love, Dench. Well, I don't love you, you waddling junkyard. Now kill him! Kill him! Kill him! No, kill him. Kill him! Kill him. Don't kill him. Borky, get up! You see, Dench, you and Bork suffered from the same fatal flaw. Human emotions. A problem I do not have. Therefore, ah! Sledge! Look, he's rejecting his robotic self and trying to change back into a human being. 
I'm sorry, Detective. He's scrap iron. No, it's not possible. I mean, I never. We never. He's dead. <laughs> Farewell, Sledge. Farewell, my lovely. Uh, Dory. Sledge, you're alive. Captain, he's alive. Terrific. Hammer was lucky. It wasn't designed that way, but I was able to convert his armored cybernetic shell into a super healing body cast. He is now completely well. Well? Well is a relative term, Doctor. Wealth. Sledge, we're glad you're back, but if you're completely well, what's wrong with your arm? Listen, I gotta run. I'm late for the Jungle Warfare Singles Weekend at the Ranger Base. Hammer, what are you hiding? Nothing. Well, this. I just gotten sort of attached to it. Actually, I think I finally got the hang of it. Stretch! Stop! You're scaring him. I'm only human. <laughs> <laughs>